they can look at me however they want to. If I'm an outlaw, okay, I mean. just like St. Paul. When St. Paul wrote the book of Romans, he was locked up a lot of times in Rome because of Jesus' name. And he was righteous in God's eyes. As much as I hate to admit it, I am considered as a graffiti vandal. Spray paint, markers, whatever, stickers. I use anything to just put the message out there. There's a cause behind this. There's a reason why I'm doing this. And I'm more concerned about the souls out here. So I just want to bring the light. Just let God uh, deal with the rest. There was a time I was always involved with selling weed in the streets, or uh, I used to be a lookout. Even before I changed my life, I already decided to just not be a part of that no more. I had these uh, people that were friends. They would just say, okay, you know, don't worry. You know, we're going to give you this as a gift, as a marijuana. I smoked one time, and uh, I started feeling dizzy. I started feeling I couldn't walk anymore. They laced it with something, maybe like Ajax, Clorox, or ammonia. I don't know. I could have died. Man, if I was to die, you know, I want to be right with God because, I mean, if there's a hell, I don't want to risk it. I don't want to go there. That was just a sign, like, I really have to make that u turn and give my life to God. Sometimes I break night just doing graffiti, almost 24-7. Catching at least over like 500, 700 Jesus Saves tags in one night. I was looking for me because uh, another graffiti writer came out from jail for graffiti and they were like, yo, listen, they looking for you. Even being in jail and go to the yard, I picked up a rock and I would scratch Jesus saves all over Rikers. Yo, man, I saw your stuff in Rikers Island, man. Wow, you're everywhere in Rikers. There's a lot of uh, a lot of sin and abomination in New York City. I see people so lost. I see a lot of brokenness in people's heart. I see a lot of depression in people's heart. I could just read people and know what they're going through. Most of them want to shoot up. They want to drink. They want to destroy themselves. They're looking for love and happiness in the wrong places. Sometimes I used to write Jesus saves in those neighborhoods so people could see it. When you're in sin, you're in total darkness. You're not aware of your surrounding. You're not aware of yourself. You're just aware of just the things that's going to harm you. And I can't really talk much, because I've been there one time where I would take it so much on the liquor, on cocaine, on marijuana, and uh, having a lot of hatred in my heart was just affecting me mentally and emotionally. God was there where they were at in Sin City.